What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm making something that I don't necessarily do that often. I'm making a ridiculously delicious dessert. It's got Oreos, it's got s'mores. It's s'moreos, but in form of a cheesecake. Oh yeah, it's going down. Started with some graham crackers and now we're here. Graham crackers, the staple of a s'mores sandwich. Also the base of this s'moreo cheesecake. And for that base, I'm gonna grind up some graham crackers to as fine of a powder as possible, which will ultimately be mixed with some sugar and with some butter. But before I make that base, I gotta do some more grinding now that I got the food processor out. So might as well grind up a bunch of Oreos. This is gonna be used inside the cake batter, but also on top. Remember I was saying that I needed to combine the graham crackers with a little bit of butter and some sugar? Well, that's gonna create the base because we're gonna par bake that in the oven, which will give it a perfect stabilized bottom for the cheesecake that goes on top. And the vessel that's gonna bring us to deliciousness is a spring form cake pan. In order to fully capitalize on this cake, we're gonna need to take the sides off. And you can't really do that unless you use a spring form cake pan. The graham cracker and butter and sugar mixture is firmly packed into the bottom of this pan. We're gonna par bake it and get on making the rest of this cake. Now, typically in the past, I like making no bake cheesecake because when you don't bake it, there's less chance to mess it up. But for this, we're going on a journey where we are making a baked cheesecake. And the first step for that is using room temperature cream cheese. It's also the first use of crushed up Oreos. I'm gonna combine it with the cream cheese mixture. I'm using a stand mixer with a whisk attachment because I find it easier to add the rest of the ingredients. And those ingredients are a little bit of vanilla along with an egg. Now, once that is all mixed together and it is well combined, we're gonna start layering more Oreos into the base of the cake. So to the bottom in the middle, I'm gonna carefully place some Oreos. And if you can't fit that many Oreos into the bottom, don't be afraid to break them in half and fill the voids. If there's a little bit of graham cracker crust showing, don't even worry about it. Now that the base is good to go, I'm just gonna scoop out all this cream cheese mixture and evenly spread it on top of the cake. Cake goes in the oven and it's time to make some homemade marshmallow fluff. Not as hard as you might think, by the way. What you see me doing right here is using my hands to separate the whites from the yolks and we're gonna discard the yolks or save them for a hollandaise sauce. The point is we're using the whites and we're gonna combine them with some cream of tartar. Cream of tartar Tartar has nothing to do with tartar sauce for fish. It is a stabilizer for egg whites. Now that the corn syrup and sugar has reached the optimum temperature to make the marshmallow fluff, I'm gonna slowly and carefully add it to the egg whites and mix it all together until it turns into marshmallow consistency. I actually could not believe how easy this was. Yeah, it took a little bit of time and a candy thermometer, but you guys could do it. After the cheesecake has baked and fully cooled down, that is when we're gonna add the rest the ingredients but only after it is fully cooled if we start adding ingredients on top of it while it's hot they'll just melt off and that's not what we're looking for you know what we are looking for a chocolate ganache and that's what i'm making here with this double boiler i got a little bit of chocolate chips that i've melted down i've added some heavy cream and mix it all together until we get a silky smooth chocolate ganache sauce this little ice bath situation you see me doing over here is to help cool down the cheesecake because like i was just saying we gotta make sure this cheesecake is fully at room temperature. Otherwise, the ingredients that we add on top will just melt right off. And with that being said, look how glorious this cheesecake looks as is. Yeah, you could probably just eat it and feel great about yourself or if you've gone this far, you're willing to go just a little further. And by just a little further, I mean we've already made the ganache, so you've pretty much gone to where I wanted you to go. So take that ganache and cover this entire thing in it. Then, on the sides of this, you want to use the ganache as a glue to fasten more Oreo cookies as the border. After which, you want to transfer the marshmallow fluff to a piping bag and carefully pipe an even distribution of that fluff on top of this cake. There's only one thing left to do before eating, guys, and that's torch it. Whoa, so much is happening inside this cheesecake. Typically in the past, I've made no baked cheesecake, so I thought it would be cool to do a baked cheesecake. The base is made of crushed graham crackers. On top of that, I put a bunch of different Oreos. Then I made a cheesecake filling, filled that with some crushed Oreos. You follow so far? Then I made some homemade marshmallow fluff, the first for me, 
and it was a banger. Top the entire thing in chocolate ganache and then put that marshmallow fluff on top. And I added Oreos along the entire perimeter. Okay, okay. It's light. It doesn't look that intense. Just kidding, it looks ridiculously intense. Mm. That burnt marshmallow on top, unlike marshmallow fluff that you would get at the store, I don't know why, maybe because it's homemade and as we know, most things that are homemade are better. Also, getting a good s'more flavor and for me, honestly, I don't like s'mores, the actual sandwich. I find that it rips apart your mouth, never as good as you want it to be. But the flavors of s'more, that is a next level flavor profile, which is what we get here, plus Oreos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna learn how to make this, check out the link in the description down below and follow along with this video. I'll see you later. Bye.